Hey guys, Matt here at Red Brewery. I'm gonna do a homebrew review. I uh, couldn't wait to bust into these. I got a very generous care package from Dennis Penn from Woodshed Brewing. And check out those nice new labels that he has. Uh, here, get a close up here. Definitely stepped up his game to that. Very professional looking. Very cool, Dennis. Looks really good. Now, Woodshed Brewing, fine crafted, premium quality, Rochester, New York, established 2015. Ice cold craft beer. You know what's interesting is it's actually today it was in the 60s here. And uh, the box was sitting on my porch for, it was probably sitting on the porch for a good couple hours before I noticed it was there when, when I woke up today. And when I took these out, they were still ice cold. So it's either very cold still in New York or uh, they, they kept their temperature. So I don't think we're gonna have any problems busting into this right away. And he sent me plenty. So uh, I have more of the same to, uh, to bust into later. Um, so this is actually labeled SS. This is his um, supersonic cherry limeade, he calls it. And check this out. I got some new glassware in the brewery here, wrecked brewery. So it's really nice. Uh, this is from um, Glass with a Twist. Got the idea from uh, Nick at Exit 12. Um, they, they did a really good job. They didn't have the glasses that I wanted. I wanted to get their uh, their beer can ones, but they had run out. So I went went ahead with the Belgian because um, I had plenty of the standard pint glasses. That was the other option I had. And I thought this looked cool. Uh, it says prepare to be wrecked on the one side and it's got my logo on the other. And uh, I think they did an okay job with it. Let's go ahead and get this into the glass. Look at that. that uh, it's got a neat color to it. It actually looks very close to my uh, sour beer. The glab that I brewed. Wow, that is crystal clear. It looks excellent. And it does look like a uh, liquid cherry. It's got like a nice um, sort of reddish, pinkish kind of hue to it. Very nice. Very cool to look at. It's got a good finger head on it too. And I, I did pour it kind of gently, so um, that turned out all right. It's got a nice sort of what looks to be a frothy uh, sort of white head on the top with some tight bubbles. So it's probably going to stick around for a little bit. Oh yeah, that's got a good citrus punch to it. Um, I got I get plenty of cherry in the nose. Do get a little bit of that lime too. Definitely uh, smells the part on the descriptors of the title of the beer. Wow, that is very, very inviting. So let's go ahead and without further ado, cheers. Thank you, Dennis. Man, that is delicious. You know, <clears throat> it almost tastes like a, like sort of like a juice. Um, it's not, it's probably not as, as tart or sour as I thought it would be. But you can get a little bit of that tart. Um, you can tell that it's a, a sort of a tart character, but it's not, it's not sour really much at all though. You get, get a little bit of that, that idea of it being tart, but it's not like, it's not super tart at all. Yeah, I don't know if it'll make any sense with those descriptors, but that is very delicious. Very smooth. I don't know what the ABV is on this one, but uh, this is this can get you into some trouble. Yeah, it's got a good, it's got a nice carbonation level on it. It's it's kind of um, sort of low to medium on the carbonation, which I think is I think is perfect for this style. And look at that. It's got a Got a nice lacing around the glass too. I made sure to wash these new glasses really well. So definitely a clean glass. And it just wants to, it just wants to coat that glass when you swirl it around. You can definitely, hey look at that, you can work out the head on it again too. I just can't get over that. It's just, it's got a very, very inviting aroma to it. It's, um, you know, like I say, very cherry, very, uh, and maybe the cherry's probably first and then the, the lime um, smell is probably second, but both are very much there. You see, this is good, man. Well, thank you, Dennis, uh, for sharing me a very generous package. He sent me a lot more than I sent him in the last batch, so uh, I do appreciate it. I'm gonna go through these. I don't know if they'll all be on camera, but I definitely wanted to bust into one right away. I couldn't wait to try it. Um, 
Look forward to uh, soon seeing some videos from me. I'm going to be putting out some videos for, uh, for our, cal cal our collaborations. Um, I want to do a side-by-side -side now that I have everything from our sour beer um, with the Philly sour that we all use and we all use different fruits. So I do plan on putting together a video from, for all four of those beers side-by-side -side for that um, pretty soon. And then uh, the watermelon wheat that Dennis and I did, I now, now that I have his version of it, I want to put together a video for that one as well. So look forward to those coming soon. It should be, should be in the coming days. And uh, yeah, again, thank you, Dennis. Excellent job. This is very, very nice. Really good job. Really good craftsmanship on this beer. Got to be proud of this one. You probably don't have much of it left either, but uh, it turned out really, really good. Thanks again, Dennis. And have a good night, everybody. Cheers.